welcome everyone to our first um, virtual circuits class. It's not quite what we're used to, but it's uh, the best we can do at the moment. So we'll see how we can get on with using um, equipment and things from around the house. Uh, we'll do circuits class. We'll take up eight exercises. So we're going to go through eight exercises: forty seconds on, twenty seconds off, and we'll go through that twice. We have a minute in between. So the exercises we're going to work on today are the body squat, we'll do the press up, standing crunches, leg balance, Superman, calf raise, bicep curls, and then star jumps. Uh, so we'll run through all of them, have a break, then go through them all again. I've got some equipment here that you might need to use. So, so a couple of carry bags here, just filled up with uh, big beans, soups, egg, tinned, uh, tinned vegetables, tinned foods. <coughs> so we're going to use these as our bicep curls. So anything around the house that you think is going to be useful, they, you can get a good grip on and you can pull up. Just has makeshift weights. Obviously, if you have weights around the house and perfect, you can use them. But if anyone doesn't, something like this is perfect as well. Uh, so you can decide yourself what you think is enough food. I've just got four pounds in each one. Um, same again for the rucksack here. So for our body squats, you can either just do proper body squats or filling a bag with books, anything that is sort of heavy enough onto the back, and then we can do that as our weight. So making sure this is quite high up your back. And let's use that as our body squat. If you want to add on an extra little weight, if you don't, that's fine. Just using your body weight is fine as well. <clears throat> For this, I've got some um, weights here, so I'll, I'll use these. But anything else you've got around the house that you want to use is uh, perfect. So <clears throat> we'll just get started. So we'll do forty seconds, um, forty seconds on, and twenty seconds off. Let's just get my timer ready. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll do body squats first. So either getting your hands up by your shoulders or hands out straight. <clears throat> so we'll start in five seconds. Okay, off we go. So bending from the knees, bringing the hips down and pushing up. So taking our time with these, we've got to do these for 40 seconds. So bring at a pace that you think you can do for 40 seconds. So bringing the hips down and pushing up from the knees. So I keep the hips, sorry, trying to get the back straight, shoulders back, and our head up. So we're just using muscles in our legs. 15 seconds to go. We need to pause at the top. This is a break, that's fine. So just do this at your own pace. Five seconds. Okay, so we have 20 seconds rest there. So the next one's gonna be press-ups. So three different versions, you're going to do the full version on the ground and hopefully, hopefully you can see me in the camera here, but onto the hands and knees. First version, knees up and just push them down. You do the same with knees down or against the wall. Three, two, one, off we go. I'll do my first ones against the wall. So bring the chest down to the wall. Slowly bring your body down to the wall and pushing up. Same again for doing on the ground. So it's halfway, 20 seconds to go. <clears throat> so slowly lowering yourself down and pushing up. If we do a combination of knees down against the wall, that's fine. 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> Five. Three, two, one. Okay, take a break there. So 20 seconds. Next one will be standing crunches. So hands up on the head, just lightly uh, holding the fingers in the back of the head. We're going to bring one knee up, then the opposite elbow to that knee and down. So knee up, elbow to the knee. Okay. Off we go, 40 seconds. So knee up, bring the elbow down. The important thing here is to get the knee up. So if you can't quite get the elbow to the knee, that's fine. Just get as close as you can. And back down. So tensing the muscles in the front of the stomach and bring the knee up. So standing crunches is very similar to what you would do on the ground for your stomach and your core. So you can't quite get the elbows to the knees, that's fine, but just in the general direction is good, so it's a good start. 10 seconds to go. Five. Okay. So I'll have 20 seconds rest here. Next one could be one leg balance. Uh, so <clears throat> I've got the um, 
Amanda, please hear any kind of chair or work topic you've got. Uh, so starting off that with your hand on the side, going up onto one foot. If you feel comfortable with that, just taking one finger off at a time and then hold it. Okay, so off we go. So up onto one foot, hand for support and then coming off if we need it. So at ha I'll call it halfway and we'll swap over legs. We're really trying to dig that foot into the ground, trying to keep yourself balanced. So five seconds to go and then we'll swap legs. Okay, let's swap over to the other side. So up onto one foot, hold on if you need to, to a start and then bring the hand off. Make it a little bit harder if you like, bring your hands around to the front and then round to the back to meet as if you're passing a ball around your body. So just give, puts you a little bit more off balance, allows your leg to respond. Okay, so next one is Superman. So again, down onto the ground. So it's a ground version and a, a wall version. So onto the hands and knees, left arm up and then right leg. So opposite arm and leg up and straight down. Up and down. Okay, off we go. So really try to squeeze the muscles down the back of the back of our leg into our bum and also the, the lower of our back to bring the arms and legs up. So another version of this, standing just against the wall, it's halfway, bring the opposite arm and leg up and do a wall version. So really squeezing the knee up, so working the muscles of the core and the stomach. <coughs> okay, keep it going, five seconds to go. Okay, so onto the sixth exercise, um, calf raises. So again, if we we're using for our one leg stand, um, we can use the same again, so just for a bit of um, stability. Keep your hands either on the chair, worktop, mantle place, wherever you've got. So we should be pushing up, pushing up onto the toes, and then slowly lowering the heels down. Okay, off we go. You push up onto the balls of the feet, slowly down. Then once your heel hits the ground, straight back up again. So working with the muscles in the back of the calf. So we always have to feel this burn down the back of the leg. <coughs> Halfway. So it looks like from the side. So really just bring the knee, the heels up and down. So what I went and just go up, really try to get high up on the toes, squeeze the muscles in the back of the leg and down. Okay, so 20 seconds rest, next one, bicep curl. So get your, whatever your mix of weight is, so your bags, and um, whatever you've got, I'll leave the weights here. <clears throat> so 10 seconds to go till we start. When we're keeping the elbows in, we're gonna bring the arm up to the shoulder, we the hand up to the shoulder, and then slow it down, keeping the, the elbows locked in. Okay, off we go. So slowly in control, so bring the arm up with the hand up towards the shoulder, and control as we come down. So don't just let your hands fall. We'll be using the muscles as you bring your arm down as well. <clears throat> so try to avoid any swing here, any swing of the arms. <clears throat> so we want to keep all this in the, the front of the arm, the muscles in the front of the arm, rather than in the top of the back or any kind of swing. So really try to keep the elbows in. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Okay. Okay, so last one for this round is going to be star jumps. So starting off, hands and feet together, we'll be jumping out and bring our arms up at the same time. So bring the legs out and arms up, and then back in. Two, three, two, one. Okay, off we go. Arms up and in. So do this at your own pace again. Obviously, we're doing it for 40 seconds. So start off. All right. <coughs> Pace it you can handle it. If you think it's a bit too easy, you can speed it up. Other version of this is just to do half jumps, so half star jumps in the leg out and the arm out. So it's halfway, just over halfway. Ten seconds to go. So keep it going. Try to keep a good steady rhythm going. <coughs> Okay, it's first round done. We'll take um, one minute, so 60 seconds here. And we'll run through the same again. 
There's another bit right here now of uh, if those weights feel good, if the, the bags are made up or heavy enough, uh, and how you get on with the rest. If the rest of 20 seconds between each round isn't enough, then feel free to pause the video, take a few, um, take a little, little more time, take an extra 10 seconds, 15 seconds if you need it, and start again. Uh, so we'll go again in 30 seconds. <clears throat> Good time to uh, grab a drink of water. <clears throat> 20 seconds to go. So as I said, if you need more than a minute, you put an extra minute, then just pausing the video and uh, timing your own rest is fine. And then you can just jump back in again. So we'll run through the same exercise again, the same eight, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And that'll be the hard work done. So five seconds, three, two, one. So into the squats again, so hands out. <clears throat> bringing the, the hips down, bending from the knees, keeping the back straight. Try to keep the shoulders back, the head up, so our back stays straight. And we're just using the muscles in the front and the back of the legs here to bring ourselves down. We shouldn't be able to feel this in the back. Okay, it's halfway. I think I should have worn shorts, it's hotter in here than I thought. 10 seconds to go. So really take your time with these if you need to. So bringing them down, bring your hips down, and pushing up. <clears throat> okay, so 20 seconds rest, we'll go for press-ups again. So either <coughs> full press-ups, half press-ups, or right up against the wall. So when your hands just below your shoulders, you can't quite see me in the video there, but my hands are just below my shoulders. I'm lowering myself down, lower my chest down, pushing up. Okay, off we go. So you're going to want to do half and half, so you can do half like this, so half of the knees down, and do the other half, either knees down or against the wall, it's up to you. So you've got to feel this in the back of the arms and into the shoulders. It's halfway. Ten seconds to go. Really focus on the muscles in the back of the arms and the chest there. Five seconds, keep it going. Three, two, one. Great, so 20 seconds now. <clears throat> Standing crunches again, so arms up uh, behind the head, just lightly hold the fingers back of the head, bring the knee up, the elbow to the knee, and down. Okay, five seconds. <clears throat> Okay, so knee up, really try to squeeze the muscles in the front of the stomach to bring the knee up. And as you bring the elbow in, really squeeze the those stomach muscles. It's designed to be a bit more of a, a core exercise with just standing, but there's a bit of cardio involved here. Well, it definitely feels like it for me anyway. I'm definitely out of breath. It's halfway. Keep it going. Try and get the elbow as close to the knee as possible. If it doesn't touch, that's fine. Just try and get as close as possible. It's perfect. Five seconds. Okay, so onto the one leg balance. So find your chair for your worktop. Starting off with one hand on, up onto the foot, up onto one foot, and then the hand off. In 10 seconds time, halfway we'll swap feet. <coughs> Okay, so finding foot, so <clears throat> hand off if you need to, balance on the one foot. A bit too easy, again, bring the hands right to the front and then round to the back. Just push yourself a little bit more off balance so it allows your foot to respond and work a little bit harder. Okay, let's swap over legs. So up on the opposite foot. You can really feel the muscles around the ankle and the bottom of the leg and foot working here. So it's a great one for balance. Okay, <clears throat> next we've got the Superman. So again, either the floor version or the wall version. We're doing the floor version onto the hands and knees, bring up the opposite arm and legs, bring up the hand up to at least shoulder height, and then pushing the leg up onto a straight line between your, your fingers and your toes, down, and then back up. Okay, off we go. Maybe don't kick anything. 
So really try to squeeze those muscles to bring the arm and the, the leg up. So working the muscles around the core, around the stomach and down our back. <coughs> Okay, it's halfway. Now we're doing the whole version. We're going to bring our knee up. So really squeezing the stomach muscles to bring the knee up and the hand up. Bring the hand up above the head. Bring the knee up as close to the chest as, as we can. Okay, three seconds. <clears throat> okay, so 20 seconds rest here. We're going to go for calf raises now. So again, back over to our chair. And um, the worktop or whatever we've got. We're pushing up onto our toes. Sorry, I can't quite see me there. Up onto the toes, get the heels up. So we're working the large muscles in the back of the leg there. Okay, off we go. Up onto the toes and slowly bring the heels down. Pushing up and slowly bring the heels down. So bring the heels down slowly. This allows us to use the muscle for as long as possible during the movement. So we don't want to just let our feet um, drop, let the heels drop. But you do it nice and slow and controlled, so we're using those muscles as much as we can in the back of the leg. 10 seconds to go. Five. Okay, <clears throat> so 20 seconds rest. Onto the bicep curls, so getting our bags ready, <clears throat> whatever we've got. Bags for life are definitely good, one, good ones for this. The, the other ones are a bit cheaper. The bags for life are good. You get a good few cans in there. <coughs> so bringing the hand up towards the shoulder, keeping the elbow in. So I've got my elbow stuck into the side and just moving the, the hand up. So just using the muscles in the front of the arms to bring the hand up. And again, slowly bring it back down. So slow and controlled. So we're using the muscle for as long as possible. That's halfway. Now you can do these one at a time, the way I'm doing them, or you can do them both at the same time. If a little bit less rest, this way it'll feel a little bit harder. So if you do want to push it a bit more, do two hands at the same time. Five seconds to go. Okay. <clears throat> so on to the, the last exercise, so star jumps now. So 10 seconds, so hands and feet together, or hands down beside our side, feet together, just jumping out, bring the arms up and back. <clears throat> okay, off we go. So start this off at a pace that you think you can do for 40 seconds. <clears throat> You're taking a slight rest at three jump, or just go straight in to speed it up. <clears throat> just trying to go at a pace that you think you can hold for 40 seconds. Halfway. So other option, again, it's just the half jacks. So a little bit easier, but it's still demanding on the cardio, getting the breathing up, getting the heart rate going. Five seconds to go. Okay, that's us done. Hold on everybody, I hope you got on okay with the, uh, with the makeshift weights and the, the makeshift circuits class, but. Um, you can make this a little bit harder by having it a little bit extra in your bag if you're using the bag for the squats, a little bit extra in the bicep curl bags. Uh, but it might not be as hard as what you're used to, but anything, just getting out anything at the moment is good. So anything, even if it's a little bit easier, is better than nothing. Um, and even two or three times a week, be able to do this uh, is perfect. So, see you get on with the, any other videos that are on our YouTube. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.